Hello, this video will show you how to publish an application, a WPF application or WinForms application and uh, with Install Forge, that's an install for free installer. And uh, since this, since normally you're using Visual Studio Click Once, uh, the Click Once will not have uh, furth further stuff like uh, registry ent entries and all that stuff. So <coughs> it's sometimes be better to use uh, additional software like the uh, install Forge software, which is for free. So now I show you how this works. Um, install, you're downloading install Forge and then you run it. And that's the software for installation. It's built on the left side are some public uh, main uh, tasks. And there are the uh, sub pages. Now I already, I've already set up my special project, so I will show you again. <coughs> and when you're there, you will save it somewhere. Save it somewhere next to you, next to your uh, output. So this is my bin bin output put here. This is the bin folder, debug folder, and usually the debug folder. In this case, the debug or release. There's the there's the exe file, and next to that I uh, the, I install that um, the output. I save that output. Okay, for further uh, further versions. So first we <coughs> have a first look uh, a short look over that. We have the general uh, block. So this is um, you type in there the program name and the company name. This uh, two variables will be at the uh, installation path on C, C double, uh, uh, double point backslash programs and then backslash pro, uh, company name, cr uh, program name. So you shouldn't use here um, <coughs> uh, special characters. Okay, then uh, website and all that stuff. Keep this graphics, that's the uh, design of the stuff, you don't need that. Language, uh, I would prefer English, uh, that's enough. That's the, ins uh, the language of the installation software, nothing else. And <coughs> um, so, okay, now we go on. You have the setup file. What we need there, you need the, the exe file. So you have to add the folder there, uh, add a, a file there. So this is on the debug, the uh, exe file or on the publish release file is always the exe file. Sometimes you always have to also have to add the config and manifest, but that's uh, normally not not really necessary. Uh, maybe on Windows 10 is sometimes uh, necessary, but it works with only the exe file. Okay, <coughs> now we go on. Uh, you have the Visual Update Express. This is uh, you will need this one if you want uh, 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 want to be recommended on uh, announce of up updates by the software itself. But de it depends on if you uh, install it in your own software. Okay, so we have what you need there is you click on there. You click on the include uninstaller. So when you install the software. Um, on the left side uh, where there's Windows 10 and the software will be here somewhere. So you may also tap on the right key here with a deinstall. So this is uninstall will be started by this deinstaller. And this will also deinstall uh, the path there on, um, on the installation of the programs path. <coughs> so variables, commands, that's not, uh, that's more for uh, improved. Uh, programmers, we close that. And now these are the uh, dialogues. That's also not the most important stuff. Keep that. And now this is uh, important for me: uh, the registry. So when I install my software, I want that my software uh, will be also placed on the uh, uh, file explorer. So when I click on the right mouse key with the context key with the uh, on the file explorer, then I will see my software. I will show you on the later point. So we have this stuff. This is the stuff of the, uh, where you may edit here. You add uh, in the registry some uh, entries and you have to know about the end, uh, about file explorer or registry keys and all that stuff. Uh, and with the uninstaller, we're here with the uninstaller, where was it? Here uninstaller, it, these value variables will be 
installed and removed after this stuff again. Then you have the short shortcuts, one shortcut on the start menu and create a start menu shortcut, create a desktop for, um, uh, stuff here and you have to <coughs> you have to edit here or uh, let's like it like it like this here it, you have to edit or add then start menu name that's the name and then keep this one install path th this variable install path that's the path where the software uh, was installed so this is c double point <coughs> uh, programs uh, 86 uh, and then there's uh, the company and the uh, and the product name and then you have the and then that's the install path and then the exe file which exe file should be run so that's the desktop and start menu you have to add this uh, add, add this manually and now uh, and after this you run uh, you have the build there now I will uh, I have saved it already and now I build it <clears throat> and I'll show you how this works and now uh, when it's done you have uh, that ins installation uh, file and uh, I will also run it here on my demonstration software but you will also see it you will find it next to your uh, to your build where you have the build file you have here the setup file this one in the build uh, block and I placed it here on the here's that's the install exe file and now I run it also this in, install exe file and you see now uh, there comes two selections the my languages uh, and I, I will run in this case the English one then that's uh, the dialogues not not important then the here is the path that's the path that's the company name from the general folder and background and the, uh, that's the product name and you see there is uh, it's written like uh, what we have done entered here in the general folder so we don't use special characters there since this is a path on the uh, C drive <coughs> okay next one then uh, you will, we will cre create this stuff and uh, set up this that's uh, this are the the, the the links start links and now I finish that and when you when we have a look on Windows 10 now here we will find I will find it here at the company block when we enter the here in the general group the, that's the company and that's the uh, product when we click on there now this is my software and we also have the uh, with the right mouse context key the deinstall and we also may deinstall it and <clears throat> for me it was important also to see this one when I'm here in my uh, uh, explorer then I will it will also add this one this line this one and sometimes when I'm in a picture folder like this one <clears throat> then here with the right mouse key uh, there comes the group images or on the folder itself is itself on this file when I click on here on this folder uh, element or folder node these are entries on the registry and I will start it here already straight with the context so <coughs> this was um, I will upload now my file this file on uh, which was generated uh, where is it here on the bin out output path here uh, debug install path and I'm able now to install that stuff I place it on my website on a HTTP download path so people may download it from here and run it from here and also update it from here so this is uh, the <coughs> the software itself is for free and Install Forge is for free. Where is it here? Install Forge setup dialogs. Here it is. <coughs> That's Install Forge. I've written it down for my stuff. Install Forge. You may download it there. They have this stuff, and I mean, it's uh, for for myself. It's better than the the uh, click ones, and 
you have a, a better uh, better features than when you uh, s store it as a UWP universal platform app on the uh, on the Windows Store, Microsoft Store, because you may also uh, may some change do some changings in the registry because the Microsoft Store doesn't allow registry entries and these are important sometimes on uh, desktop apps. <coughs> even when you even when you uh, run the desktop converter app on there, so I could I hope I could help you. If you have questions, call me.